today I'm bringing you some cool space for um, basics. So yeah, if you find the instructions hard in the game, watch this and I'll show you how to play the game. This is about the 12th attempt at this video and if it doesn't work to this time then I'm going to be extremely annoyed. YouTube, continue. So these are the two main vehicle assembly buildings. That one's for building space balloons and rovers. Obviously you can build rovers in this one too. This is for like mainly rockets. So we're just going to build a simple module. Now these three here are for planes. That one's for landers, for like landing on planets. And then these two here are for rockets. These here are for probes, like satellites. So we will choose this command mo module mark module, command module mark one. We're just gonna put some basic stuff on this, so we'll give it a little poodle engine. Now these landing legs, we want to put four on them. So instead of putting them on individually, we can use symmetry mode and angle snap. Put them on equally at an equal distance. We want a parachute, obviously, but we don't want four. We only want one. So we'll put that on the top. And now we start out the staging. This is just our basic rocket. It won't get us into orbit, but what it will do is provide us, provide me, to be able to show you how to generally build just a basic, simple rocket. And it will show me how to use action groups. What it would do if I actually put the right equipment on. So in science, if we go to the commonometron 16, select 4, we want them to extend at all at the same time whilst we're in space. So we go into the action groups. You can have more than one thing in action groups. So if I had solar panels on, toggle. So that will do this. And you can be used with most parts. And you can see there are four parts. Pods, propulsion, control. Oh, talking of control, we haven't put advanced SAS on. And that will keep the, keep the rocket in one place. So this is just our basic rocket, and we'll name it Test. As you can see over here in the staging, we have our rocket firing first, and then our parachutes, to bring us back down safely. So let's save it and let's launch. This video um, was made for MC Dubs and Betty Bobs as they are recent to. They are new with KSP, and they didn't understand it as well as some people. So, I made them this video. So we won't get no. To go in the cockpit and press C. So now we are acting as Jebediah Kerman, the most famous Kerbinor in Kerbin Kerbal history. He is a legend. So let's throttle up by pressing, holding uh, Shift and throttle down by ho holding Control. T and R to turn on SAS and RCS. A space to launch. We now press 1 for my action group to, and as you see the common armature on 16 to extend. We'll go up as high as this will let us go which I don't I doubt will be too high seeing as the engine we have isn't extremely powerful. It's good on landers but on launch stages I wouldn't recommend it. So we're actually not going to do too bad. These these hold a fair bit of fuel. But just for the purposes of the video, I'm going to throttle down. And I'm going to show you a technique called air braking. Our parachutes are on, but we're still going up, so they're us. Now we're falling. And our parachutes are falling. Brilliant. So now we need to do what's called air braking. Which is where... We will error break by I think it's called error breaking by using the downward force to our advantage to slow us down and bring us to a safe landing. This is used on most plants without atmosphere, such as the moon or Bop. Bop is one of Jules' moons. 
Jewelers, the equivalent to of Jupiter or Venus. Not, not Venus, that's uh, Eve, where I'm planning to go to see. So now I'm just going to go full throttle just to bring us down. No, back down to half throttle. Cool, steam, I wonder what this looks like from the cockpit. Oh, not bad. And this will bring us down to a safe stop on the runway. Hopefully. You basically hover with this technique as well. But it's extremely hard. Uh, full throttle. And we're going to crash. And this is really annoying me. Oh wow. And it's going to tip. And it tipped. Luckily, with these landing legs, uh, some two dips. Um, we can try and push ourselves back. There you go. All right. So another thing you can do with kerbals is go on EVA. We're hovering over the kerbal, and here is Jebediah Kerman. In space, you can use um, pack fuel, but you can't. Is it? I'm coming. Ha, huh? he's probably doing a full three stuff. Never mind. And Dylan is finally on course for the moon, so that's why he's texting me. Right. I think we should go for a bit of a cinematic screenshot, if you know what I mean. So let's press F2 and get rid of all that. There, we have our thumbnail. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next episode in which I will hopefully launch a satellite in space and I'm leaving this module here I'm not going to end this flight um, yes it's somewhere over here and just just as a quick bonus um, actually no we're not going to end it here people we're not going to end it here we're going to make a little Probe kind of thing. No, actually, we don't need this. Huh? No. Nope. We're going to make a little probe bot. There we go. Structural. Right, um, let's put some fuel on, some tiny fuel tanks. And where are our wheels? There they are. Do you know we need these because they're cooler? I'll we'll spin them around so they can get and what can I fit on?
this is the weirdest rover I've ever seen. Please don't be as big as this one. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend this is gonna work. Um, this is literally just a probe with two fuel tanks that is gonna fall over. Oh, well, that went well. Okay guys, well thanks for watching and uh...